welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I'm really excited because I'm sharing my cozy farmhouse dining room with you guys. It has been a journey over the last two years decorating this space and I can say with confidence I'm finally in a place where I absolutely love it. I would say that it's quote unquote finished in a sense, you know, as somebody that loves home decor and homemaking, I'm never really done with the room. It always seems like I'm changing things out, but I wanted to share this tour with you today and walk you through some of the staple pieces in my dining room because this is one of the few months out of the year that I don't have any seasonal decor in here. So I've taken all of my summer decor down, all the lemons are gone. It's definitely a neutral color palette right now and I'm very excited to share with you guys kind of my inspiration and thought process behind decorating this space. So it wouldn't be a fun transformation kind of dining room reveal to you guys if I didn't show you a few before pictures. Now this first picture is from the listing on the house when we went and saw it. It had green walls and it just needed some love. It had a very dated light fixture, very dated window treatments, and we just scrapped it all, and all we really had to do was add a fresh coat of paint. Now I know I'll probably get questions about this, so the color on the walls is called Bare Mineral by Bare. So the bear is spelt B-E-H-R, mineral. And I love the color, I have it throughout my main living. Um, it is the perfect neutral. It's not gray and it's not beige. It just kind of depends on what light you're in, what kind of tone you'll see. Sometimes it pulls warm, sometimes it pulls cool, but it's definitely overall a really pretty neutral. Now that you know what it looked like before and you know what color we painted it, let's go ahead and take a look around. When we first moved into this house almost two years ago, we were starting from complete scratch. I had no idea what I wanted to do with the space. It was my first time having a formal dining space and we didn't have any furniture um, for it. We only had a kitchen table and so this room sat bare for a good bit after we moved in. Um, but that's okay because I took the time to kind of figure out what kind of table and chairs I wanted because I knew ultimately that would steer the direction of the design aesthetic and just the overall look of the space. I knew I wanted something large and I knew I wanted some kind of wood, like pine or light oak or something, um, very natural. And I ended up finding this 12 foot reclaimed wood table from Pottery Barn. I'll try to link it if I can find it. I actually got a really good deal on it. And it is gorgeous. The wood in here is just beautiful. Instead of going ahead and just buying the set as a whole and paying an arm and a leg, for what their chairs cost at Pottery Barn. I decided to take a risk and just buy the table and I thought, you know what? I can buy my own chairs. I can do this. <laughs> and so the table sat here for a good while while I hunted for chairs. One day I came across a picture on Pinterest of a table that was pretty similarly toned to mine, the same kind of natural wood look. And it was paired with some really pretty black Windsor chairs. And I saw that and I immediately was drawn to it. So I did a little research and I ended up buying these Windsor chairs. They're quite large um, and I love them and they were very, very affordable compared to other places that I had looked. And I think they came in sets of two. So I bought two end chairs and then two sets of the black chairs. And I think that they work in this space really well. I love the black contrast. And to go ahead and match the table and chairs, I found a very pretty chandelier. It's really simple. It has some nice wood elements and kind of that iron metaled look. I actually found this at Lowe's. I had ordered a chandelier online and before it came in, I was at Lowe's buying, you know, something I needed because we hadn't been in the home very long and I came across it and I love it. One thing I really love about this fixture are the way that the sconces or the lights are kind of swooped. And so at Christmas time or various holidays, I can put different greenery on it and it looks really, really pretty. So once we had a table and chairs in place, and that was definitely the focal point of the room and what I was kind of decorating around, 
I definitely started to evolve and change my style and really figure out who I am and what I wanted my space to be about. And over the last couple of years, I found some different pieces that I am so proud of because I have learned that antiquing and thrifting is definitely a competitive sport. Um, finding just the right piece for the right space is so much fun. And it's so fun because these pieces really do tell a story and they're just really meaningful to me. So the first being on this wall, this is just a big open wall um, to the right of my kitchen um, entry. I found these beautiful blue plates. They have a pretty maple leaf detailing as well as a pretty landscape of a quaint little village on them. And I don't really know the history behind the plates, but it was so funny because I showed my mom these plates and she had mentioned that she recognized them and that her great-grandmother had this pattern. So I instantly felt connected to the plates and I thought that was so cool. So I'll definitely always keep these here in the dining room. And then these white plates, um, again, were thrifted. I don't really think these are like antiques by any means. They could be brand new for all I know, but I found them at a local thrift shop and they were like 25 cents a piece. So I just scoop those up and they match and kind of coordinate with the blue plates really well. If I do happen to find more of this pattern, I'll definitely swap these out. These plate hangers I found on Amazon and they're so easy to use and they're great because you can change out the plates as much as you'd like. Over on the opposite wall, we're gonna kind of play ping pong here and go back and forth. I have this window pane. I picked it up again at a local thrift shop. I think I paid $10 for it. They had dozens of them outside sitting out by the entryway. And so I picked that up. I really loved this color. I thought it added some really nice warmth to the space. And then as far as florals go, right now when, again, I'm not decorating for any particular season, but it is summertime, I went with all green and white florals in here. And I think with the black contrast, it is really, really pretty. So this wreath is actually from Kirkland's. It's two or three years old now, but I really love it. It has a lot of really pretty elements. And then here in this corner, I love this chair. This chair was another, again, fun antique shop find. I walked by it and then I literally did like a double take and went back and had to see how much it was. I think I paid about $25 for it. It is gorgeous. I don't know what decade it's from, what era, but it, you can tell it is a traditional Windsor style chair. It's got the scooped back and it just has some really gorgeous detailing on the legs and the color. It's kind of a walnut. Again, like this, it's really, really pretty. And then sitting here on the chair, I just have a cute little basket just to bring some blues into the space to kind of go with the plates and coordinate without being too matchy matchy. And I just got a pillow, the cover is from Amazon. It says like farmer's market on there and threw some greens in there just to have something on the chair, just to give it a little bit of dimension and texture. Now here on the center of the table, I just have a very simple basket. I love the shallow, um, handle and that is a shallow basket here and I just threw some assorted florals again I went with the whites and the greens I believe all of them are from Hobby Lobby and the basket I think is from as well um, I got it on sale but I love the look of this basket I think that it adds just a nice little cottagey vibe when I think of summer cottage I totally picture baskets like this full of lush real florals and so I wanted to kind of incorporate that into this space and draw inspiration from that. I do not keep a tablescape up on my dining table all of the time. I do have some really pretty table settings but I keep them all here in the dining hutch which we'll talk about in a second. Um, but honestly we use this table pretty much whenever we cook dinner at home which these days is all of the time. And so because we use the table all the time, I don't want to you know, put the tablescape on, take it off, that kind of thing. So I leave it bare, but I actually really, really enjoy that. 
So I went back and forth for months, I think maybe even a year, debating whether or not I wanted window treatments because originally I didn't have any on the windows and I loved the bright, open, airy feel that I gave, but I did decide to go ahead and go with a very sheer white linen curtains. And what I did was I found a rod that was longer than the window, or at least extended longer than the window, and I went out several inches on either side, and that way I can pull the curtains and that all of the window still shows, but it adds a nice texture and warmth to the space. It was something just really airy and bright and cheery because of, again, with all the blacks and all the warmth I had already added, I didn't want to bring any pattern or any anything too dark to this space. I wanted to keep it really bright and really fresh. And so I love these. I found them on Amazon, I think for like 20 bucks for both panels, which isn't too bad. The rod did come from Lowe's and it definitely has like an industrial um, pipe look that I really, really enjoy. One of the very first things we did after we had the table in the room was we built some open shelving. And I really wanted the shelving to display pretty white dishes and pitchers and cake stands. I have some gorgeous handmade cutting boards. I wanted to display different canisters and things like that. My number one recommendation when it comes to finding white dishes and white pitchers would be first thrift stores because that's where you're going to get the most bang for your buck. I can't tell you how many things I've bought for like 25 cents or for a dollar. Um, but if you don't have any good thrift stores near you, I definitely recommend a Home Goods or Marshalls or TJ Maxx. They tend to carry tons of white serveware at a really good price too. Across from the shelving, again, we're playing ping pong a little bit. I had been on the hunt for a produce scale for what felt like forever and I didn't find one and I finally <laughs> bit the bullet and I just went ahead and bought one at a store. This is a faux scale. It's not real. It's not authentic. Maybe someday I'll find a real one, but for now I think this is really pretty and they did an excellent job making it look antique and this is such a fun piece to decorate. I can fill it with really lush greens or flowers. Previously, for summertime, I had pretty lemons filled to the brim, and you better believe come fall, I'll fill it up with pumpkins. So it's just a really fun piece to kind of change things up. And then in this corner, I have a blanket ladder. I believe it's from a Hobby Lobby. I had it here during Christmas time, and when Christmas was over, I was like, you know what, I really like it in this space. I think I'm just gonna keep it in here. So let's go ahead and talk about my pride and joy of the dining space, my hutch. I found this hutch on Facebook Marketplace for 25 bucks. It was in an old foreclosed home and they were just getting rid of stuff, the new owners, and so they were you know, eager to sell. And I brought it home. I don't think it had moved in 50 years. It was caked on with dust and dirt and grime, but I got it clean, I spruced it up and I painted it white. And it is the perfect little piece here in our dining room that I just love to decorate for the seasons. But right now I have it decorated pretty neutrally. It's um, There's not really any seasonal decor up here. This is all decor I could have up any time of year. I have loved this piece. It is perfect for the space and it is so much fun to decorate. Again, I love doing white dishes and white serveware. I have assorted pictures over here. I found these little wooden spoons at Hobby Lobby. So, so cute. I've got little white, a little kickstand here. I love the color and the detailing in this. And again, it's that same um, wood tone from over here, so it pulls a little warmth. It's really nice. Um, and most all of these pictures and things are from thrift stores. Again, home goods. I like to add little pops of greenery where I can just to kind of freshen up the space. I did add that third plate. I told y'all I got three. I added the third one to the hutch just to kind of coordinate and bring everything together and make it feel cohesive. It looks really, really good. I'm happy with that. And then I have this little wired basket. I can't even remember where it's from. I think home goods actually. And I just, as I found different rolling pins at antique shops and things, I keep adding it and my collection seems to keep growing. But I love, love, love the way that this hutch turned out. 
and it is just very simple but it's really really pretty so I hope that you really enjoyed this dining room tour and that you were able to get some ideas and inspiration and kind of saw my thought process behind decorating some of the items in here like I said before it's been a journey kind of figuring out what pieces to put where being patient <laughs> finding the right pieces on a budget thrifting antiquing but it has been so much fun and my dining room is by far my favorite room in the home and i'm very very thankful for it but if you happen to be new around here today i just wanted to say hi my name is amy and i'm so glad that you stopped by here on my channel i do tons of decor inspiration decorating ideas and homemaking motivation and i would absolutely love to have you join my youtube family so if you like what you saw today make sure you hit the little red subscribe button down below again hope you enjoyed the video hope that it brought a little joy to your day and i'll see you guys really soon in my next one bye